Britons were overjoyed earlier this month when it was announced that the Duchess of Cambridge, better known as Kate Middleton, was expecting a child. But now Britons seem eager to show that monarchy is not just a spectator sport, with thousands laying down the cash to bet on the name, sex, weight and even hair colour of the newborn royal. Bookmakers say the most popular betting topic so far has been what name will be chosen for the future king or queen, with proposals ranging from the traditional William, Elizabeth and Charles to the more unusual such as Kevin and Waynetta. Without doubt, the big one so far has been the name that they will call their future child or the third in line for the throne. And what we're seeing is very traditional names are being chosen. I think they're very traditional people. So if you look at down the betting, there's sort of George, Victoria, Elizabeth, those type of uh, names or royal names are going down really well. They're all around 10, 12 to 1. And then obviously we're also betting on some fairly strange names too. And we've got things like Chardonnay at 1,000 to 1. And that currently is our worst result. I think it costs us nearly £100,000 if they choose to call their child Chardonnay. However, odds have changed since the Duchess was temporarily hospitalised with a rare form of morning sickness that affects only 2% of pregnant women, commonly those carrying twins. The big one we've changed the price of already is actually for them to have twins. And we yesterday, when they first made their announcement, we put out a price of 33 to 1 that they had twins. Since then, it's been cut to 25. That's largely because we are told that her condition is worsened by having twins. The reason she's so ill, therefore, is possibly because she's having twins, and we've seen money for that. Royal twins are historically very rare, and there have never been any in a prominent royal line to the throne. But whatever the royal couple decide to call their baby or babies, it will likely set naming trends for the next generation to come.